Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, July 19, 2020, in the year of Cornholio. And as per, I hope that your Sunday is off to a great start. Let's get right to it. 18 hours of pure hell yesterday. And let me just tear into this a little bit. You know, when you wake up in the morning and you uh, open your eye and all of a sudden things are uh, spinning in the room. Yeah, I had a few beers on uh, Friday night baking, no big deal. But uh, wow, the day that was in store for me yesterday was incredibly uh, difficult to the point where I wasn't even able f to feel well enough to do the uh, kitchen stadium last night. And hopefully we'll have that underway. But standing up and just everything uh, kind of spinning is a really, really terrible uh, experience. I think I had the same thing back in uh, back in late March, early April, and it wasn't a fun experience. So I got up and I had, uh, you know, I tried to eat something. I did the morning chew chest. They mustered every bit of showbiz, what would I say, showbiz moxie I could muster to pull off that yesterday morning uh, uh, upload, tasting the, uh, trying the, um, doubled up peach cobbler and talking about uh, Disneyland, but I pulled it off and I got it up there. But I'll tell you what, yesterday through the day and through about uh, 7.30 last night, I puked no less than 30 damn times yesterday. And the last time, you know, I tried to sit in a chair back here, but every time I would lower my head, I would, you know, get up and lower my head. To pick up something on the table, I would start to get uh, the uh, spinning again and right into the bathroom. I wasn't able to keep anything down. I thought even a simple Hershey bar or something like that, it was a whoop, whoop, <laughs> everything was out. I got really concerned about the last time, about 7.30, I was, there was nothing left to throw up, you know, and at that point you're just heaving. And I must have like uh, really stretched or pulled some uh, chest muscles because all of a sudden I felt like a burning here. And I thought, oh, great, I'm going to cash out of here with a heart attack. And my uh, my pulse was was racing. Boom, 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 boom. And I just sat there and I just like said a prayer and uh, within about a half hour or so. It had finally begun to pass to the point I could uh, take a shower and about 8.30 get a good nap. I was able to uh, uh, sleep and close my eyes. And as long as I didn't change positions too much uh, during the night, I was able to sleep. No more vomiting or anything. And it just episode passed, thankfully, today. But that is really 18 hours of hell to just have that dizziness and that... Uh, just as things are spinning and immediately you know you're going to uh, throw up. And I'm not even a person that gets seasick or things like that, but uh, I pulled it off. Rosie's a tough bird, right? So today I'm feeling about 80% uh, uh, better, I think, when I'm able to get something to eat this morning. And uh, I think I'll be in a stronger shape and ready, be ready to go for tonight. So Thankfully, D was around. He was very helpful uh, yesterday, very understanding, uh, offering a lot of assistance and uh, cooking things and offering uh, to do things. So I am very appreciative of that. But I'll tell you what, that is 18 hours of hell that I hope I never have to go through again. But I think I probably will. <laughs> Anyway, have yourselves a happy Sunday, and I feel pretty confident tonight. See you in Kitchen Stadium. I think I'll be awful hungry for a really good meal of barbecue. We picked some of the own uh, squash in the garden, along with some okra and uh, some store-bought zucchini. I think it'll be a nice and maybe hash browns tonight. I think it'll be okay. As per usual, your thumbs up are appreciated down there. And uh, I'll tell you what, 18 hours of hell. I love you guys, but I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Have a happy Sunday, everybody.